everybody and welcome to Just Being Maddie. Today I am doing an unboxing for you guys. All I have done so far is take off the plastic wrap because I knew that would be a lot of work for me to do that on camera, uh, at least around the box. So I am doing the unboxing of the Tarot de la Nuit. I know I'm probably butchering that, um, but here is the box. It's actually quite like quite a sturdy box. These are, I'm guessing, the designers, like the artists. I'm not 100% sure, but I do want to point out their names, and I'm not even going to try to say them. Like, Alexandria, Carol, I'm not even going to try to say the last names. Like, no. But that is that, because I'm sure I'm butchering that part. Um, I figured, ooh, that's nice. I like that. Okay. So, let's pop this open. Ah, oh my gosh, guys. This is the book. This is adorable. Okay, so it looks like, so if you guys don't know, I'm not like an, I would. I don't know if anyone ever is really an expert in tarot, um, but I am definitely a beginner. So this is just gonna be my first impressions on what the cards actually look like. And of course they're wrapped in plastic. Like really, why? You were in a box wrapped in plastic. Why do you need to be in plastic? Like I don't understand. See, this is why. I don't understand. Okay. Okay. So I'm like, finally got the plastic off. Well, kind of. I'm getting it off right now. I went and grabbed a knife. Okay. Oh. Okay. So these are the cards. This is the card back. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing this is just like a cover card with the picture. How beautiful. Okay. So. This is the first card here. This is the Fool, but we're going to just kind of like quickly look at this guidebook. Um, so it looks like it's just like wording, nothing crazy, which is good for me because, again, like I said, I'm very, very new to tarot. Like I have one other deck. This is my second deck. So like that's just kind of nice. And then it looks like that's all English. And then this goes into uh, maybe French or Spanish? I don't know. A different language. So that's all English here, which is nice. Um, let's see what the first... Ooh. Ooh, I love that. Okay. Um, oh, there. has all the languages. That's kind of nice to know. So Italian, Spanish, French, Portuguese, and then um, whatever that is. Sorry if that sounds bad. I don't know what it is. Um... So yeah, it says um, how this deck was created, has a little welcome, and then it goes straight into the cards. So yeah, I'm just kind of going to look at the cards. I'm not really, I don't know a ton about them individually each, so like don't, don't judge me, okay guys? I'm not, I'm not an expert. Um, but this is the Fool. I just, they're definitely glossy cards, like it feels, um very glossy. She's just like so pretty. Like look at, look at her. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's the fool. Magician. I feel like like you wouldn't want to mess with her, but like she also would be helpful. Like is that weird? Again, I don't really know a ton, so don't. The high priestess look at that like authority in her face look at that okay this is the card that you see on the cover the empress she looks so comfortable in her throne like she looks like she belongs there like her leg like back behind her all slouched in her chair The Emperor. I love the moon. I love that this deck is like darker in a sense. Like it's kind of like it's okay that like the dark isn't scary. Like I'm afraid of the dark, but like in general, like the dark's not scary because like they're out in the moon. The hi Hierophant. I think I'm saying that right. 
Okay, is it just me or do these two guys? I don't know. I like him. I like that he's got like this, his like staff or spear or like scepter. I don't know what you want to call this, but I like that. And then I like that he's got like magic in both hands, but in different ways. <sighs> oh, I love this card. He's got kind of like, I don't know if this makes sense, but like, I feel like he's an elf. Like, I don't think that that's true. Like, I mean, I have no idea, but like, I just feel like they're like elves or something. I don't know. The lovers. The chariot. She's controlling both of the horses with her mind. But I like that they're chess pieces. And she's on a magic carpet and you can see like her like kingdom or whatever you want to call it in the background. Like I love that. Strength. She's just like chilling with like a lion. Like, yeah, no big deal. Like, it's my pet. Oh my gosh infinity sign there. I love that. The hermit. Like, she looks okay that she's like wandering alone, but yet she's not alone because she's got her friend there. Her lantern's guiding her in the right direction. Like her black dress. But, like, it looks like she's also like her, it looks like her dress matches her like crow next to her. The wheel of light. The wheel. The wheel. Like they're spinning. Looks like the same girl spinning the wheel. Justice. I wouldn't want to mess with her. Look at her. Power in both hands. That sword. I would not want to mess with her. At all. The Hanged Man. I like, like it almost looks, yeah, I think the Hanged Man, I think in this, like, it, she's, it's actually a she. I think there's definitely a more feminine aspect in this. It kind of looks like it could be either, like, I, like, you can kind of tell here, like, it looks like maybe she, maybe it is a she, but at the same time, like, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I kind of like that. <sighs> Death. Oh my gosh. Death is so beautiful. The heart on her head. The look in her eyes of like, things are going to change. Like, it's okay. But also like, be afraid. I don't know. Temperance. She looks naked, but it's like covered in a way. Like she's got like, it's almost like blurred a little. Beautiful. The devil. Wow. Definitely a lot of very skinny women. Like, I mean, like that's fine. Like I'm perfectly fine with that. Like I knew kind of what the cards looked like. I've seen videos of them online. So I had an idea of what I was purchasing, but like definitely like very similar body types. White blonde hair, which I love the white blonde hair. Oh, tower. It looks like this is some sort of like, I don't know, like almost like a doorway or like a some sort of like circular thing like you're looking through it and you can see the tower through it with like the fiery lava like branches wrapping around it like holding it like you have to go through this before you can get to the tower like I don't know star oh her wings and the star oh 
Ah, oh, the moon. I love her dress. Oh, I like this. Okay, so the sun, like, it's more, it's not like a super bright card, but it's like she's seeing the sun. She's got, like, a yellow rose or a yellow flower there, and, like, the sun's, like, rising or setting. It could be either, I guess. Like, that moment of, like, the sun is there. Okay, the judgment, or judgment. You can see, like, all these people walking towards something, and, like, she's, like, looking behind her, like, what's... What is she looking at? And this again, like I, so some of these cards are like, like this card doesn't feel as glossy as this card. I don't know, that's weird. Okay, so like some of these cards, like I am like legit just like making up my, what my initial thoughts when I see these cards. Like I have never really gotten that, like I've really only read the book or read it when I'm like reading the cards, so like don't. If, like, I'm completely off, like, guys, like, this is just my opinion when I look at the cards. Um, but the world here, like, she's got her moon, the moon behind her, her owl. Gosh, they're all so beautiful. Okay, this, I believe, is part of the, like, this deck comes with a specific card for this. And we saw this picture inside the guidebook, um, Angel Dalen. Net Nuet? I don't know. But like, look at her makeup. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we are in the aces. Oh no, we're in the cups. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna move these ones out of the way so we can just go through these. So we've got the ace of cups. I love the red hair. Two of Cups, like the almost like blood on her dress. Three of Cups, very Alice in Wonderland esque, right? Like the rabbit and the cat, her outfit. Four of Cups, a lot of red hair, <clears throat> a lot of red hair. In this in the cup so far oh my gosh mermaid oh I love that five of cups the six of cups she kind of blends in with her background like she's kind of just like almost like hidden in there seven of cups Eight of Cups. She's kind of looking at you like, like I feel like she's really looking at me. Like looking like, are you coming? Kind of way, like kind of, I don't know. Nine of Cups. Like I feel like, okay, so like these two cards are very different. Like I feel like this girl was kind of like almost implanted into this picture, whereas this one I feel like was actually in the picture. Do you know what I mean? But it's got like religious pictures in the background. Ten of Cups. Ooh, another mermaid. We have the Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Okay. I like this. It's like her shield is coming from her, inside of her. Her like hair is like almost glowing. The Queen of Cups. Wow. Okay, and the King of Cups. Oh, I like this. It's like gold on him, almost like he wasn't, like something was wrong and they like stitched him up with gold. It looks like he has like bruises almost in the corner of him. Definitely a lot of female energy. Like I get a lot of female energy from this, which is great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love it. 
Okay, now we're going to do the pentacles. I'm just grabbing all of them really quick. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles. She is like covered in blood. Or almost like red lipstick. Like it kind of looks like she like took her hand and like smeared her lipstick across her face. With like skulls in her hair. Oh my gosh. Cinderella vibes. She's got, you know, her like clocks there with her carriage waiting for her and her big dress. Wow, I love that. That's the two of pentacles. And then we've got the three of pentacles. The four of pentacles. The five of pentacles. It looks like she's got wings attached to her. And she's like pulling down her dress to like release the wings or something. Six of Pentacles and that red dress. And then there are six coins there, Pentacle or like symbol out right there. I like that. This has like a very um black swan vibe. Like clawing into her skin there with her crown. Oh my gosh. Eight of Pentacles. Looks like she's got wings. Coming out of like sitting on this older book. Like she's like a small little fairy of some kind. Oh. Wow. She's like holding. Like almost like. Which is weird that this is a Pentacles. Because it looks like she's holding like a wand of some kind. Wow. Gosh she's so pretty. Wow, you do not want to mess with her. Looks like she's got like a skull right there in the corner. Oh my gosh, it's frozen! Ugh! I love this card. I love this card so much. The Page of Pentacles looks like Elsa. Wow. The Knight of Pentacles. She looks badass. I would not want to have to fight her. Like the scar in her eye. It looks like she's got like a bloody lip. But that's like actually a flag. So it kind of first, at first glance, I thought it was like a, on one of those like reaper staffs or whatever. But it's actually like a flag. I like that. The queen of pentacles. And she's got like a key hanging there to the gates. And the king. Is, she's kind of like looking at you. I'm like, hey. The castle in the back. Oh, I love that. Okay. Now we are going to do the wands. We've got the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. She's like, I don't know, I feel like she's like talking to the skull. And like right here, all these branches are like coming for her. Three of Wands. I don't know. Something about this card I don't really love. I don't know what it is. Like, I love her outfit. I think she looks very confident with her skull and this, like, staff or whatever you want to call it in her hand. I just, like, something about it. The Four of Wands. Ooh, the Five of Wands. It looks like they are in two separate worlds, but in the same world. Like, this is, like, frozen and cold, and over here it's, like, just dreary. The Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. I guess this would be kind of like her wand of these branches like coming at her. The Eight of Wands. 
Nine of Wands, see? Elf ears. Totally elves. I love it. The Ten of Wands. Ooh, her dress on fire and the fire behind her. It almost looks like a wedding dress. The Page of Wands. The, like, golden yellow eyes. The Knight of Wands. Ooh. Queen of Wands with, like, like her wings, but they're actually like part of her dress. Oh, I like that. The King of Wands. Looks like he's got like blood dripping down his mouth. Like a snake right here. Okay. Next, we've got the Swords. Last but not least. Okay. We've got the Ace of Swords. And another mermaid. The Two of Swords. Oh my gosh, there's a person. Oh my gosh, I did not see that. What the heck? That kind of scared me, actually. Okay. He looks like he was, like, drowning or something. Ooh, wow. Looks like she, like, cut out her heart, maybe? Or cut something? Wow. Four of Swords. It's like holding herself, looking at the clock. Five of Swords. That looks like almost like a Buffy dagger. Like she's like coming to get you. The Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Like there's like someone following her and she's like running down these stairs. Eight of Swords. Ooh, look at the horns coming out of her head. Nine of Swords. Mirrors all cracked. Ten of Swords. Almost like she's drowning. Page of Swords. Like the markings on her eyes. Okay, I don't like this. All of our knights were females, and then you throw in this. I mean, it's Jon Snow vibes, right? The wolf. I mean, I like it, but still. Why? Why change it up? Then we've got the Queen of Swords. We've got the King of Swords. I like him. Man, he looks like a badass. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle these. Okay guys, sorry, I had to stop and get a glass of water. I was just like dying. Okay, so these are the card backs. They're like a dark purple with like the moon. Um, so I have kind of larger hands, I guess you wanna call it. Like I would say these are quite standard. Like, my other cards that I have aren't huge. Oh, my goodness. Um, so I'm just going to kind of just... This is how I prefer to shuffle them. I know it's not, like, the best way. But it kind of just, like, does the job, I feel like. Okay. Okay. That's good enough for right now. I'm just going to draw the first card. We've got the wheel. So I'm going to take the booklet here and you guys are going to hear this dyslexic here is going to read this out loud to you. So just be nice, okay? That's all I ask. Um, the wheel of fortune in hands of destiny. We are the fates. We hold the thread of any destiny. We decide of birth and we decide of death. Life is a journey made of ups and downs, of joy and sadness. Sometimes night with will be starry and illuminated and other times night will be dark and harsh those are the cycles of any, any existence and this you must accept which means that you have to feel blessed when good times are here and also to stand strong when bad times come 
Adversity is to be faced with courage and determination because there's no way you can change the challenges we bring you. So just accept the ride and trust that we know what we're doing. We also he- we're also here to remain- remind you, there's a dyslexic, sorry. We're also here to remind you that according to karma, your actions will follow you. So always act good. Keywords, cycle, fate, ups and downs, life as a roller coaster, challenges, karma. I can see that in this card. The ups and the downs. Okay. Now let's pull another one until we get one of the suits or minor minor arcana. Is that correct? Correct me in the comments below. I actually really do want to learn. So, like, please correct me. But nicely, of course. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Oh my gosh, I totally said it looked like she was drowning. Okay. Life after drowning. I'm drowning in the waters of betrayal. Should I struggle against the disaster? No, it is no use. I can't but let go. I feel too desperate and shocked to fight. Something in me needs to die so I can purify my soul from the bad experience. Maybe then will have there be a rebirth. Will there be a rebirth? I've hit bottom, so now things can only get better, can't they? If you're drifting by my side, try to keep faith. After all, I see the light of a new dawn in the far. Our drowning night will end. Having survived, it only makes us stronger. We won't forget the lessons we've learned through all this pain and suffering. They'll give meaning to this hard moment of our life. Keywords, pain, betrayal, drowning soul, but also new beginnings, new strengths, dawn after darkness. I totally see that in this card. Okay. You guys want to draw a couple more? Let's do two more. I'm having too much fun to stop. Oh, my goodness. Apparently, this Ten of Cups really, she wanted to be seen. So we're going to go with her. The Ten, ten of Cups. Where are you at there, friend? Okay. The Ten of Cups. The Clearing of Happiness. Night has been nourishing mother for me. I live now in the sweetest of clearings, a place where all is gentle and bright. Flowers are blossoming and hearts are rejoicing around me. I'm so glad that your steps lead you here. Meeting me in this in the sign that your dreams are about to come true. Your life is full of blessing as is mine. Gather your loved ones around you. Enjoy some happy times together. Love is also in the air and it will be a life long lasting one. Now you can follow your heart and grab my opportunity that is that life is bringing you. Be sure that the road will be clear and delightful. Joy, commitment, happiness, harmony, good fortune, love, family life are the key words. Oh my gosh, I love this book. Okay, and the last card we're going to draw. We are going to go with the Six of Wands. Okay. The Six of Wands. Can you see her? Blossoming confidence. Flowers are blossom blossoming around me. Bloom, blossoming. Blossoming around me. They should. I deserve it. I have fought hard and today is the day of my reward. The people of the night now admire admires and alarm acclaim, acclaims me you and I do not meet by accident I do not appear to losers I know that you've worked hard and I respect you for that you've overcome many difficulties so let me congratulate you 
May your success bring you great confidence. Allow yourself to feel proud. Hold your head high and shine like a star. Become an example that others will want to follow. You really deserve the success that's yours now. Bravo. Keywords, success, public recognition, shining bright, pride, self-confidence, promoting oneself. Okay. These were the cards we chose for ourselves. Kind of like a, I don't know, if you, if you want to look at them together. You know, you've got the happiness and sad and they're kind of all intertwining together. Um, that is my unboxing and first impression of the Tarot de Lombard. Oh, guys, I just keep butchering the name. I'm sorry. But it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm really excited to work with this deck. If you guys would like me to do a review in a couple months, once I've kind of really worked with it, you guys should let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing tarot, box, tarot unboxings. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.